Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Power BI Desktop to go and interact with the data that you collect from Microsoft Forms. Stay tuned. If you're finding this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. And then recently during a live stream, someone said, well, how do I connect to the data in Microsoft Forms? And I explained it and they said, Patrick, you just blew my mind. And I said, I should do a video on this because the questions keep coming up. So I decided to do a video. There's gonna be two paths, right? There's gonna be two paths. You guys know I always like to take different paths. One, you're gonna use forms.microsoft.com and the other one, you're gonna use SharePoint or OneDrive. So enough of all this talking. You guys know I like to do, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. There's a couple of ways you can create your form. You can start by going to forms.microsoft.com and then you can go here and create a new form. And so that's actually what I've done with this Power BI survey. So if you click it and you can respond to it, but the challenge is, is how do I get to that data? Well, the only way that I figured out how to do it was to click on responses and you can open this in Excel. And it's going to download the file, but I have to do this every time I want to update my data in Power BI. And I know, I know what you guys think. And Patrick, you're not lazy. You're just really efficient. And this is not efficient. So you're telling me every time I want to, you know, refresh my report, I got to go here, go to responses, open the Excel file, refresh my Power BI report, and then publish it. Or maybe store this out on a share and then, you know, have my schedule refresh run. It's some process I gotta write. That is not something I wanna do every time. I don't wanna maintain and manage that because guess what? I'm probably gonna forget. So this is path one, right? Using forms.microsoft.com. Like I said, you can use SharePoint Online or OneDrive and do this in a more efficient way. And so that's path number two. Let me show you. You can do this one of two ways. You can go to SharePoint. You can see guyinthecube.sharepoint.com and you can see all of my, you know, the groups that I have created. So you create your group and I'm following lots of groups, but you create a group and here's my group right here. And what you would do is you go to documents and then right at the top, you see where it says this plus, click it and you'll see forms for Excel. You're thinking, Patrick, well, I just want to create a form. Hang on, hang on, just calm down one second. Or you can go to OneDrive, and again, it's got to be a shared library or a group, and you can do the exact same thing. So this is the exact same shared library or group that I created, it's called Surveys, and you can see this Excel file appears here. Watch this. You can do either approach, if you do it in SharePoint or if you do it in OneDrive, the result is going to be the same. So if I click this drop down right here, choose Forms for Excel, and I'm going to click Create. What do you think is going to happen? Boom. It takes me to forms and I start building my form. The difference is if I go back over to my OneDrive folder, you'll see that there's a new Excel file. If I go and refresh this page right here, you can see there's a new Excel file, right? It automatically updates it for me. If I go over to forms, stop Microsoft.com and you'll see a new survey is created. So it's all integrated across these platforms the advantage though, the advantage of using SharePoint Online or OneDrive to create this, and you guys may have noticed this when I was doing this, is that it creates this Excel file where it's actually gonna store the data. Now, can you get the path to that file? Unlike if you do it with forms.microsoft.com, I couldn't figure out how to get the path to it. I couldn't find out where it was stored. And maybe there's some genius forms person out there who's gonna post in the comments and go, oh, silly Patrick, this is how you do it. But if not, if not, you can use this approach, right? If you can't do it with forms, you can use the approach I'm showing you. Let me show you. So what you would do is you can go here, either in SharePoint or in OneDrive, find the file. So I'm gonna use one of some, a survey that I've already created. We're gonna go ahead and say, open this in the app. So let's open it in Excel. And then you'll see there's all the data that I've already entered for the survey. What you wanna do is go to file, choose info and click copy path and be sure to close the file. Let's go ahead and close it and then open up Power BI Desktop. And like I explained in the video, if you choose get data and choose from web, watch this. And you're thinking, why am I going to web? Well, Power BI is really smart. So if I go here, what you wanna do is get rid of everything after the X. So the question mark, web equals one. Just get rid of that. I've done a video on this that actually walks you through the step of connecting to an Excel file that's stored on a OneDrive. Click OK, and then you'll need to authenticate. 
choose organizational account, go ahead and sign in with your credentials that allows you to access that Excel file. We'll get all authenticated and just, just click connect. It's going to do some work and it's going to show you all the information that's available. You can choose the table or you can choose form one. I'm just going to choose form one. There's my data and you can click low. You can just click transform if you want to transform the data up. I've already built a simple little model and imported some data and you can see that I have five surveys and there's the responses to the survey. If I go back to the web and go to forms at Microsoft com choose the form so I created a little survey and I'm gonna just click preview to do a sample so I have a watch guy in the key videos of course I have how long have I been watching them from the beginning what's my favorite topic data modeling click submit and we'll close this and then I'll head back over here it takes a you know a few seconds for the data to update but you click refresh a couple of times and you should see it, it should add another one there we go so now you can see I have six results where I started with five you will publish this up to powerbi.com and you guys are probably thinking okay Patrick can I schedule this for refresh of course you can this is what you need to do go out to the service once you publish it go find the data set the name of my data set is Guide to Cube Surveys. Schedule refresh. You'll need to enter your credentials and you'll choose OAuth and whatever privacy level you want. Once you set that up, then you can just go to that data set and click refresh. It's refreshing. And then I'll go over to my report and you can see that there's five results. If I refresh the page, now there's six results. And just like that, I've connected to my Microsoft Forms data and now I can schedule refresh. I don't have to download an Excel file and you know maintain it and ensure it's there every time. I want to get the latest and greatest survey data. What do you guys think? All right. Are you working with Microsoft Forms? Have you connected up to Power BI? Have you done it a different way? I'd love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.